Hello, I'm Doug, stand-up physicist. This is the first of a video blog series, Playing with Physics, Research Through Outreach. And the title of this particular video is YouTube plus Patreon, an experiment in community construction. So I've got a lot of explaining to do here. <laughs> first of all, who is the stand-up physicist? Well, uh, that would be me. <laughs> um, I am trying to do some really hard original research and discovery in physics, and yet I don't really have enough credentials to do so, enough formal training. Now, that makes my life kind of a tragic comedy, but it's my life. I have audited classes at the graduate level because I live in Boston, so I've taken classes at MIT, at BU, and Harvard University. Hmm. Now, I call myself the ultra-Orthodox fringe, circa 1970, because if I had come up to somebody then and said, hey, I'm working in 10 or 11 dimensions and I don't have any experimental tests of my work, <laughs> uh, they wouldn't have listened to me and they wouldn't have given me a $3 million prize, all right? Now, what about this tagline I've got about playing with physics, research through outreach? I mean, play? Really? <laughs> well, when kids play, they question like everything. And this actually needs to be fun or like, why bother? Now. I'm going to get things wrong. I certainly have in the past, and I will in the future. Uh, but I'll admit when I mess up, and I'll get up and try again. And the key is to get in the game, not to sit on the sidelines. Nearly all research is super specialized. And that's a good thing. That's the way nature is. But my goal here is different. I want to explain sin. The simplest shit in nature. <laughs> and if it's simple, uh, then it must be explainable. I think it's just that time and space have all kinds of crazy relationships to each other. The normal one I experience is that I just get older. And that's very simple. <laughs> I'm still getting older. All right, here is my core research idea. Back in third grade, I knew how to add numbers, subtract numbers, multiply them, and divide them. And physics is patterns of numbers that appear in space-time. Now these numbers have all kinds of different names and whatnot, but they're still numbers. And I think that all of the math tools used, since they're about numbers, should have the same properties of numbers that you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. So I'm just trying to be true to my third grade teacher. Now, why am I thinking about YouTube and Patreon? Well, YouTube you know because you're watching this. <laughs> Uh, Patreon is this thing where you try and establish a connection with an audience uh, by having them pay you a dollar a month if you can produce a video. Um, I, I support a dozen producers myself. Uh, they're either about science ed or sex ed because those are both of a lot of interest to me. And I know if I had a few Patreon uh, um, supporters that I would actually get in front of the camera and put something together in a timely kind of fashion. So this would force me to, um, to get off my whatever and uh, produce some videos. So who's my target audience? Well, there are people who are, are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant at physics. They were the number one student in high school, in college, they were the sec at least the second or third kid, uh, adult. Uh, and in grad school, they actually did a thing or two that were pretty impressive, and they're either tenure track 
or they actually are a food professor. Um, that's not my target audience. <laughs> it's not because there aren't that many of them, and they're extremely busy. <laughs> oh, so I actually am more interested in people who are just okay at math. Uh, they're, they're not scared by it. You know, I put in an equation, uh, uh, you can see it, and it's like, that's okay, that's cool. Uh, they're actually kind of clucky at it. They, they never got good enough to impress anybody. Um, but the, the other component is, is about physics, that they have this deep connection to it because they feel like it really is a deep explanation for how everything works in nature. It's, it's really almost spiritual. Uh, and, and that's kind of a motivating thing to that person. Uh, a motivator to, say, watch videos or to write, uh, read popular books, to spend time thinking about it. So there are millions of such people. <laughs> so that's kind of my, my, my goal, uh, to reach those folks. Um, now, am I going to uh, be able to construct a community? Well, uh, quite frankly, I don't know. I mean, this is this is a genuine experiment. Um, and if I can communicate what I'm doing to you, well, and you find this fun and interesting, well, who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll get a dozen disciples uh, to follow me. And then what happens next? Mm, nothing has to happen next. <laughs> I mean, the whole point is that we're mining for deep truths in nature, and that should really be enough uh, for us as a little, little group. But uh, there's also possibly a responsibility. And it has to do with whether we are actually mining a real truth or not. Because if we are, then we have a responsibility to try and reach those professional physicists, the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant folks who are super busy. So I thought that having a larger pool of people who were kind of re working and refining on what our message was would mean that maybe one of our group would have a connection to a professional and maybe they would say, oh wow, there, there are actually 40 people who are actually like watching this and, and why did you come in here and, and this particular video is pretty good. Anyway, that kind of thing, the serpentipity uh, connecting to the professionals. I think is, is certainly worth, worth my time and effort, and I hope it will be worth your time and effort, um, and we'll see how it goes. So um, that's it. Uh, this is my research and outreach effort using YouTube uh, plus Patreon, and I hope to give you these things under 10 minutes, <laughs> so good luck in your studies. Thank you.